Hi there, I'm Shauna from Infinity Readings, and this is going to be the reading for the Leo male in a coupled relationship. I wanted to take a minute here just to kind of acknowledge what I've done for this winter season. I managed to change up a few things. I vamped the logo a little bit. I actually got Aaron at Active Dynamics here. Um, he has managed to make my intro for me. So I'm very thankful for that. He did a great job. I couldn't have done it. I couldn't have done it. <laughs> uh, so thanks Aaron for that. I appreciate it immensely. And also to extend for my theme music is beautiful, upbeat, happy tunes. I can't get enough. I am now going to his page because it's just that great. It's all good gravy stuff. So I couldn't have revamped my uh, winter season without these dudes around me. So I'm lucky enough to have them in my corner. So thanks guys, Ixen, great work. Aaron, thanks again. Great work. So take care, guys. Enjoy your season. And Ixen, if you ever want a reading, just hit me up, man. Just email me. I will kick in and we'll set something up. In the meantime, take care. Have fun, you guys, and enjoy the reading. So I'm going to go over some masculine cards to kind of give an overview for the winter. This is for the winter of 2018 into 2019. So... The months we're talking here, I'm in North America, Canada, so November, December, January, February, March, that kind of span of period of time, that's when this could play out, okay? Okay, so the first card I get for the Leo male in a coupled relationship for the general energies. The first card is dedication. So there is something that this Leo male is after, and he is putting a lot of time and effort into that. And hopefully it's the relationship here, because I'll tell you the last few readings have been doozies. But anyway, um, there's dedication here, and that is the forefront of where the energy is coming from. He's dedicated to something. On the left, we have altruism. So there is a sense of him being the best he can be for himself. Now is that going to carry over to the partner? Um, on the right side, we have chaos. So... <clears throat> that signals to me something is awry. So we'll dip into the energies here a little deeper and see how it goes. I take five decks and I split things right down. I go into the love and sex side of things and split it up with the Lenormand deck. I got a whole bunch. So we'll just get into it and see what comes out. Okay. I go horizontally, then I go vertically and break it right down. If there's any challenges, hopefully we'll illuminate that for you so you can see clearly the way forward. Okay, first card I get for the Leo male in a coupled relationship is the lovers, which is a good sign here. We are dedicated to what? To our partner. There's something here we need to deal with. Now, there also comes a tagline here of choices that we have to make within that. So we'll carry on. So that's the lovers, the first card. Okay, second card, we have the two of cups. So the two of cups is, wow, that amps that up times 10. So not only we um, partners and lovers, but we're feeling a really deep connection here on all levels. So this is really where the dedication sits. This man is dedicated to the relationship he is in, and he is feeling <clears throat> no less there's some chaos in the sidelines here, but he's feeling good. I get a sense that he is feeling good about where he's at. The next card I get in the general is the five of wands. So here we get some struggle. Okay. So I don't know if he's been arguing or winning arguments. That's the sense I get here. He's very satisfied with what he's come across to say. This man is got some chaos in the sidelines here. Now we have the five of wands, which is saying, yeah, we have arguments and struggles and strife and things are going on here. There's a lot of energy for battle. 
<laughs> so where does that sit? The next card we have is the Page of Pentacles. And the Page of Pentacles is about business opportunities. Also can be about learning to work together and also about gaining knowledge. I feel like that's all wrapped up in one card here. I feel like there's an ability to gain more knowledge about our relationship that we're wanting to be in or are in. We have past a precipice here. <laughs> We've gone into an area where the Leo male, I feel, is almost quite pompous. Like, very, um, I don't want to say egotistical, even though that, I mean, we could go there. But I'm feeling more, uh, it's prideful. Like, he's very prideful of where he sits in this relationship. So, he may be put on a pedestal by his partner uh, and in charge, as he feels he should be. But nonetheless, this is creating some struggles. Okay, so you got to be aware of that. I feel at this point we might be missing our missing our lesson here. But nonetheless, Page of Pentacles about learning and growing in money and in knowledge. Forward. So there's something here that's starting. Uh, yeah. So I'm going to leave it at that. The next row of the Dreamer's Tarot and the first card I get there is the Two Pentacles. So that is the symbol of things here being a little out of whack. It's right under the lovers. So there's an imbalance here. So maybe we have a lot of feelings, a lot of stuff that we're dipping into here. But there may be an imbalance in the way that we execute it forward. Okay, So we may have a lot of love and a lot of deep feelings forward for our partner. But... We may not be expressing that to the true heights of what we could, right? The, the the essence I'm getting here is that we are feeling very deeply connected, but we're not communicating that. And in in as essence, I'm getting a sense of actually controlling that. We're feeling a deep connection to our partner, but we may be on the verge of um of taking too much control here because I feel like there's been an ego battle that's won and I feel like the argument it's like you know yeah I, I told you da, 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 and then it kind of walks away all proud but in the meantime our partners suffered and we're not seeing uh, the lesson there something's out of balance okay now the next card I get under the two of cups which is talking about that deep connection is the eight of swords so the Eight of Swords is about feeling uh, very close. To, with the essence I'm getting is very close to the Devil card, which is being chained to something involuntarily. But I don't feel it's the Leo male. I feel it's his partner. Now, the Two of Cups, we have one person here that is very much feeling connected on all levels or lots of levels anyway. And one person that is feeling like, oh, I... I don't know what to do. So did we get into an argument and one person is, you know, uh, in a straight here, you know? That's what I'm getting is, is kind of not blindsided. They gave me the word blindsided, but I don't feel that's quite correct. I feel it's more, oh, what do I do? You know, like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, I've been, um, like, put in my place, but I feel like I don't know how. Well, that was carried out. I'll move on. Under the five wands, the struggle is the page of swords. <laughs> and the page of swords, this is interesting because they're going, that's that Leo male's energy. He is now, he has created some chaos in his relationship. And now he is sitting and thinking about it. What did I do? How did I do it? And did I do it properly? Just the fact that it's being done, being thought over. There's a conscience here which is what I was picking up on an energy that we maybe overdid things and didn't think about our partner in the process. Page of Pentacles about that new energy. And on top of that, we have the six of wands. So <clears throat> we got a feeling of victory over our partner and we got to be careful with that because we're supposed to be in companionship with our partner, not com competition against, right? So there's some misalignment here. I'll move on. I get into the little Norman cards now, and then we work into the energies that are kind of separating the surface from under the surface, meaning when we get into the heart issues, 
and physical issues, things get a lot more precise. So the first card I get under the two of pentacles was 12, the owls. Now, <clears throat> owls are about communication and wisdom coming through in that way. So I feel like this man may get to, if he realizes here, the page of swords, through the page of swords, he has to think he's being pensive, like something's itching him that I got to look at this a little closer. And the 12, the owls is a good sign as well. It means I'm going to go to my partner. I'm going to discuss things and in a productive way, <laughs> I'm not going to go there shouting and screaming. I'm going to, and it may even, um, lean into the point of saying I made a mistake. And if this is not this type of man, which the Leos find it very hard to admit to making mistakes, the odd one with the right aspects can pull this off. But um, he may come in here and in his own way without actually saying it, may come in and say, you know, I'm sorry for what I did. May have gone overboard here a little bit, which is what I was kind of getting. Okay. So the owls are about productive communication, not only that wisdom that comes through conversation. And not just I'm giving you wisdom and you take it. It's no, I I in part we communicate and between the two of us we come out with a solution. And that's that working together to solve things. So it seems like, you know, not only do we have a good uh, passionate base, we have the two of cups, there's mental uh, connection, heart connection, all levels, but there's some kind of a thing that busted apart here. Something opened up. I feel like the Leo was very much in charge here. And not only that, he was setting boundaries here, a little rough, little harsh, but nonetheless seeing his mistake and may even go back to the partner to rectify this. So as we go forward under the eight of swords, which I felt was the partner's energy, like, Oh my God, what do I do? Like they've, like they've been uh, put in penance and they're at the point here where they're kind of dumbfounded. They don't know what to do. Weren't expecting it to come off as harsh and at the same time, just confused. Right. Um, so yeah. So under that eight of swords, we have the 43, which is the maze. And that signifies, you know, going back and forth with things and not knowing uh, really with any clarity where to go or where to end. Now, when we get into the 43, you always uh, got to take note here, always. Also have to take note at this point is what I feel. There's many players in here. There's a few characters. There's three women and one man. And they're all looking in different directions. So we got to be aware that there may be people in our midst that may be able to help us clarify our way out of this maze. And also we might have some confusing... Um, circles that we're working in right there's some confusing stuff and i feel like honestly oh man i feel like the confusion is coming from the leo male because he's trying to save face here he's trying to admit his wrong but he doesn't want to admit his wrong but he's trying to make it up to the partner but he didn't want to you know step in it so it's kind of that process and i feel like that's from the partner i feel like that's from the leo male's partner Basically going, I'm confused. What are you doing? Are you apologizing? Are you telling me? No, 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 no. And it's a back and forth thing. That's what I feel is going on here. He's trying to admit his wrong without actually admitting it. So therefore confusing the partner and going, what are you, what are you taking back what you said? Or what are you doing? Like this is, so it's not really clarifying things because he's not being direct and he's not being upfront. He's beating around the bush. Okay. <clears throat> so <laughs> the next card we get. Under the pages of swords, and this is about him being pensive, thinking about things and going, you know, like, oh, I was a little harsh there. Uh, what should I do? I should talk to her, you know, knowing what he needs to do, but not knowing how to do it, I think is, is the thing, how to carry it out properly. Because we've got a big ego here and we just don't want to be swallowing that to, you know, because I feel like I hate to say here, but. I feel like there's very much a uh, two-step here. My wife is below me, and I, I need to keep her in the place. I'm sorry. I don't agree with that. But this is what I'm getting for somebody. This is going to apply. And she needs to know when she's messed up. Now, he went over the line here, so now he has to make up to her. And he, he did swallowing pride. What is that? We don't do that. So this may be his first lesson in humble pie, okay? 
So, <laughs> Page of Swords. So 34 we get on top of that. That's the fish. This is about wealth and attainment and also can have to do with work. Now, maybe this is where he is gaining this knowledge. When he is at work, he is thinking it is going through his mind and he's going, yeah, that was harsh. I went too far. What the hell was I thinking? Why did I do that? But yet not want to come forward and admit that, right? Okay. So the 34 is really symbolizing to me. This man, you know, has wealth to him, but uh, very underpinning. The major issue here is work is where he goes to kind of release. And that's where he's thinking about this highly. Okay. That's really what I feel from this. Yeah. So the victory. What do we get for that? On there is 28, the waiting man. So I feel like what we're doing here is we're trying to wait it out till things kind of settle down a bit so that we can come in and give our peace without uh, being under the guise of an apology. Or it's exactly, he is just beating around this apology bush. And man, he is not. I mean, he's keeping his hair down. He's tucking behind corners. He's not being, not going to be exposed for nothing. So he really cannot let go of that ego-centered place that he is at. Uh, not realizing how much of a release it could give him. But nonetheless, he is waiting for the time to be right to go in there and, and make things right. And he's also trying to figure out how to do that. Now... With this page, with this page of Pentacles being there, I feel like he's going to learn a little more than he normally did. He is going to learn that he has to not only uh, come forward and really admit that he is apologetic, like he is going to have to do this. And I feel like on some level, there's an urge to do it. Instinctively or no, this man is going to go forward learning a new lesson here in love. And I feel like it might be the apology. I'm hoping and I'm praying for this guy that he's going to get across the threshold of giving up his ego and let and setting himself free of that because he has not yet felt that. I feel to a high degree. He's never apologized to anybody. I don't apologize. I don't do that. You know, that's the kind of attitude I got here. But this one, he's got a good connection with this one right? So things are going good and da, 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 da. We hit a pitfall and I overstepped my bounds. So I got to fix it. And that pull to fix it is stronger or just as strong as his ego here. So I'm hoping that we'll get a win because we got the victory. So that's got to symbolize. Yeah. Okay. We won the fight, but we're going to lose war here. So we realize that we have to give more to our partner than we're giving to our ego or we're going to get in trouble. So there's a maturity level here through this. So this, I'm having hope for that. Okay. <laughs> as we move into, <clears throat> as we move into the intimate areas. Now the romance side, the first card we get under the owls, which is the productive conversation, give and take, right? Where we're making headway and we're doing and accomplishing things. We get the five of swords. So the five of swords is very interesting. Because that is, um, man, that is heartbreak. Um, here, this man, I always say, and I'm not going to skip it this time, is that he is um, hurting because a relationship has ended. There is something here and he knows he's done wrong. So that's how heavy it is sitting. But yet there's all this love in the beginning and fiery energy. So did we have, you know, a good partner here and we just blew our lid and and we won the argument. Therefore, we lost the relationship. Is this what's going on? We'll see what's going on here because under the maze, we have the queen of swords. That is interesting because there is your partner. So you may have an air sign character. And, man, the Queen of Swords in the romance deck, she is a no shit. She's been through hell and she's been stabbed and da, da, da. And she ain't got no sympathy for nothing. Even the devil, man. She's just got nothing left. So you got all those swords to get through plus the one in front of her and just try it because you better know your worth 
if you're coming towards me. This is the sense here. So there's obviously been some heartbreak happen in this way. I'm wondering if I got this mixed up because we have a man here under the lovers, the balancing out, the conversation, and yet heartbreak. I'm going to keep moving forward. Under the work and, you know, the wealth, we have the fool. So do we get fired from our job? We're going off in a new direction. What's going on? Because it's new energy, new direction, new stuff. Being excited and pumped to go in a new direction. And somehow work figures prominently. Did we meet someone at work? And now we have a confrontation with our partner. And this is, you know, I would got no jealousy cards here. But we've got a waiting man. What's he waiting on? The next card we get under the waiting man is the... <sighs> Page of Wands. And the Page of Wands is about admiration. You are admiring. So the Leo male in a partnership, in a partnership no less, is in admiration of someone outside of the partnership. Or we have someone doing that from with it, you know. Um, or someone is doing that to you. You are being admired from outside of the relationship, and that is causing strife and chaos in the relationship, okay? I don't have any jealousy cards here. I do have one, the Eight of Swords, which kind of, um, it's the Dramarama card, right? It's like, oh, wait till you hear this, you know, get everybody stirred up card. But it doesn't say anything in the ways of, anybody doing anything now we have lovers in the two cups that's very heavy love the situation here but it seems to be separate from the fiery energy and the knowledge so what's going on <laughs> we're going to dip into the sex side see if it comes out that way now the first card i get on the sex side of things for the leo male and a coupled is the chariot seven now we're talking about sex here and chariot is always about mismatch in the bedroom uh we're under balancing things out lovers this is all personal private now the five of of swords that comes above this kind of signifies to me we weren't happy in the bedroom so therefore a decision was made from there okay i'm going to take a one step at a time here on the Queen of Swords, which is an air sign of Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Libra. So that may be your partner. If not, they will have similar traits. So communicative. They're very much uh, logical people. They tend to rule with their head over their heart. Um, and in this point, I feel like there's someone here, someone, that is um, disappointed to the highest degree. Pissy, if not. And on top of that, we get the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups is my dreamer's card. I'm going to dream about it because I ain't got it card. And that's really what I'm getting here, the Chariot. We're not getting happy in the bedroom. I want to go this way. She doesn't, and I can't. We're not meeting here because the Oxen are going in two different directions. The Seven of Cups is now I'm off in La La Land dreaming about things that I can do with someone else. Or period. Can do period. Okay. Now, as we move into the Five of Wands here, the Page of Swords, the Fish, and the Fool, the New Direction, we get the Six of Cups. Here we go. It starts to fill in. We're dreaming about a past love that we had. Maybe we want to bring it back. Okay? The Fool wants to go off in a direction with the Six of Cups. That is a direction that goes backwards. So... We are deeply, wholly in love here on one side, and there's a whole bunch of struggle and strife on the other. So are we thinking about a past love while we're in a relationship that is unsuitable? Yeah, it's kind of on the verge here. We're dreaming, that's for sure. Is anything happening? <laughs> the next, okay, here we go. So um, under the admiration card, I feel like this man has someone in mind. Okay, in his headspace, he is going after. And the reason I say that is because we get the Nine of Pentacles on top of the Page of Wands. So the Page of Wands here 
is about having admiration for someone, but them not seeing. Because she's not looking at him, and he's looking at her. He knows about her, but she don't know about him. So that's what's going on. The Leo male is infatuated with someone outside of the relationship here. He's dreaming, wishing, hoping, praying. But I don't think things have got together yet. But the, the relationship may be going on a downhill. Now, I don't know exactly what's going on here because we've got lovers and the two cups. Man, that's heavy. But are we done this cycle? What's going on? So the Nine of Pentacles comes on top of that in the sex card. So he's dreaming about a day when he can be obsessed with someone in a sexual manner. And this is going to rule for him. Now, what's he going to do? I feel no action taking cards here. I feel like there's arguments coming. And because of the arguments, his mind's going to someone else of the past so that he can kind of get through it. I feel like he's kind of using this as an escape, right? A mental escape. He's dreaming about someone he used to date, used to be with, because he's not happy in this relationship. Now, though, there's great potential to be happy here. So it's making me feel like this Leo's got a little bit of work to do. Also, because of what I picked up with the harshness here of like, you you should know better. I don't, this is the kind of energy... And then him thinking and going, yeah, I was wrong, but I, eh, I'll just leave it. Kind of like that. And, that. and that's not healthy for a relationship. That's very lazy for a relationship. Again, learning knowledge at the page level. So we're gaining knowledge here through this. We're going to have to struggle through this. But a lot of um, activity in the mind going elsewhere. I'll leave it at that. Now... As I go through here, like I went horizontal, I'm going to go vertically, see what we can pick out. And then I'll run over the overview cards again and sum it up. Now, first card, the lovers. What's going on there? There's an imbalance. The second card. So we start with the lovers. First of all, that says, this is the topic and nothing but. This is all consuming. This is what we're dealing with, a love relationship, love stuff, period. It's that person and another person, Okay. So the Leo male and his partner. The next card is the two of pentacles. And that is about taking and balancing things out. Are we balancing the power in the relationship? I do not feel this is the case. I feel like this man has all the power in the relationship. But he is realizing that is not a great thing. Because I can have the power. But then my relationship suffers. So he's seeing the, he's seeing the signs here. And that's the imbalance. Okay. I got all the power. And are we going to, we got to respect this woman or this man, whatever you're with. We got to respect the partner for what they're there to give. If they don't get respect, we're going to have problems. So he is in recognition of this. So that's a good thing. So the two of pentacles symbolizing, we got a balance. There's a, there's a, uh, what do you call that? A red light going off here. We got to figure out. So on top of that, two of pentacles is the, 12, the owls, and the owls are always about communication that's productive, it's interactive, it's um, compromising, that was the word I was looking for earlier, compromising, you cannot, um, if you have the songbirds, that's one person just chirping, and they have no aspect, you know, there's no give and take here, it's just one person, when you have the owls, there's wisdom here, and there's give and take, and we're talking, and we're malleable, everything's working together. So this is good, productive thought process, okay? On top of that, in the romance side, we got the Five of Swords. And the Five of Swords, man, that's, that's cutting things out. Struggle, huge depression in a relationship to the point where we're losing. So have we lost a relationship already because it was imbalanced? That could be a possibility for some. And then we end up on the sex side in the chariot. And the chariot is we're going off in different directions here in the bedroom. We're not meeting the mind. <laughs> sure as hell I'm not meeting the right place in the bedroom. I'm not getting pleased. Leo male, I'm not getting pleased. And whether or not he speaks up to that, I feel like he won't because he knows that it's not his partner's thing. So this is what is um, holding him back. Okay. This is, uh, I feel highly motivating for him he's not feeling a connection in the bedroom not that things are haven't gone right but there's he's seeing that it, it just from the beginning it went like this 
you know, and it just never did come back. And, and he's feeling, I, I just, I don't feel like we're going to have a meeting here in that way. So uh, not that they don't go about and do it, but I don't, I feel like if he truly was who he wanted to be in the bedroom, it wouldn't be accepted by the partner. And that's what he's feeling about his partner. They're not going to accept if I pull out all the stops here. It's, I can't see it be an agreement, right? So that's highly something that this man is having to think about, you know. And like I say before in some of my readings, you know, males, um, they really can open the intimacy in, in the sexual side of things. Women, it's more the softer um, accompanying energy of support and, you know, emotional support and that. That's what opens them up. The males, it's physical contact in the bedroom. That's what... That's what promotes heart work, right? So, um, well, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> that's where it's at. And we're seeing that it's not a meeting of the minds there. So the next row, we get the two cups. And that is the love and the connection that goes deeper than physical, right? So there's, there's a connection here, no less, like huge. Heavy, deep, all of it on all levels. Well, maybe not all, but a lot of levels this man's dipping into that he hasn't for anybody else. So on top of that, we get the Eight of Swords, and I feel like that's their partner or past partner or whatever the situation. Like, this is the couple's reading. So uh, there's a sense here these two are united, and they may be going through a tough time or separation or something like that, yet there's no official word of this, right? So it's just a rough patch. Now, the Eight of Swords is the confusion. Like, what do I do? You know, he's giving me shit, and I can't. <laughs> I'm not making... So there's, there's a bit of, like I said, I feel like the uh, Leo may, male has definitely exhibited his power over the partner. And the partner is feeling the wrath of that. And on top of that is, is the maze, which is the confusion that it creates. Because he's trying to explain himself in a way where he's not being truthful. One, because he's trying to hide an apology. So he's trying to come forth and communicate productively, but we're beating around the bush. We're not getting to the main thing here, which is an apology, and it's not coming out. Therefore, the partner's confused. Well, are you sorry or are you not? Because I need to know this to move forward. And then on 43 is the Queen of Swords. Now, that's, you know, they're confused. And at this point, now they're getting pissed off because we're not getting an apology. And we're not explaining, we're dancing around the subject, and maybe that Queen of uh, Swords, sorry, she sees through everything. She's seeing through this, and she's not liking what she sees, so she's getting better real quick. There's a certain point here where we can apologize and make things better, and after a while, it just gets stale, right? And that's where that Queen of Swords sits. It's pretty stale. In fact, she just dropped that sword. She's not holding it on guard. Maybe she's just dropping that at her feet and go, come on give it a try give it a try see how you do she doesn't even have the stamina to pick that thing up she's like you could see in her face it's like you know the disdain you know so on the other side of this there's some fed up ness going on so as we move into the bedroom and that we get the seven of cups and that's always about dreaming about love the perfect love so that tells me why are we dreaming about it if we don't got it that's why we don't got it. We're dreaming about it. <laughs> the seven of cups is the last on the sex side here. Or the not the last, but last card in this row, and that's always about dreaming, daydreaming, and filling in the blanks with someone else, right? So um, in this situation, we have created a situation, and they're going. It was the Leo male that created the situation. He decided. Full well, he had more time to think about it than the partner did. And this was the decision that come down and he came out and blasted her with it. And now um, he is reluctant to come clean. Therefore, now he is hiding in his imagination and dealing with something else because we cannot deal with our partner because our partner, we have to work. And in our daydream, we do not have to work. We can just jump right in there so that's what's going on he's hiding in his daydreams now the next card <laughs> the five of wands right this is the struggle and the strife and the page of swords is 
talking about the struggle and going, geez, you know, he has a conscience. It's kicked in. It's told him that he's been harsh and he's actually from a heart centered place going. Yeah, man, I was harsh. I got to figure, I got to do something. Okay. But I feel like this man has never been shown the way he's never seen this. You don't apologize. So he has no real example to come forth here and do the right thing because he doesn't know how it's done. He's never seen it and it's foreign to him. So that's really what the Page of Swords is. Him thinking of how do I do this and not coming up with an answer, by the way. 34 is just emphasizing, yeah, we're, we're driving ourselves to work and we're getting absorbed in work real good. I mean, we're really hiding in our dreams at work everywhere we're hiding so we're really trying to one we're trying to be stable and solid and work on our wealth that's one thing we know we can do and we can do it well and we don't screw up too much there so that's where he feels confident that's where he's going to put it out but it's also a place of hiding now on top of that we get the zero the fool and zero the fool is about taking off in a new direction so the struggle and strive, it just makes me feel like there's kind of no resolution. Even though there was talk here, the owls about productive talk, I feel like we're producing results here on a level where we know better. Man, emotionally, we know what the root is. We know what we need to apologize for. We just won't do it. So that's where I get the fool is like, I will not put my ego aside and I made a statement and I am right and I am correct and I am just and therefore I'm alone. And this is what's happened. That's why he's the fool. That's why he's starting all over fresh. But he's very happy and excited to do so. So I'm kind of confused because there's a lot of love here. So maybe it's the partner's love that's being busted apart. I don't know. But... As we go on the fool into the love card, we get the six of cups. And that's the thing is maybe we're giving up on this relationship and moving back to a relationship we had in the past and going, yeah, that I, that I could get excited about that. And then losing ourselves in dreamland while we're not really dealing with anything. We're not dealing with the, the future because we're not going in that direction. We're just dreaming about it and thinking about it. And we're not going, um, we're not dealing with our, our present because we're hiding out at work and dreaming when we're at home. So it's all, it's all an avoidance because this man just really, like I said, I feel like there's never been an example for him to truly understand how to eat pie. You know, you go in there and you swallow your pride. He's never seen it done. So it's foreign, completely foreign. Not only that, it is out of, out of his context. You don't, that's not in his index cards, you know. Uh, swallow my pro what, you know, no, we don't do that. So he's never been shown. So in his defense, that's the case. Now does not mean we cannot resource a way to get, you know, there is an imagination here of what is right. And this man does know intellectually just doesn't know how to pull it off. He's never done it. So the last row here, the page of pentacles, what are we learning? What are we gaining? And what are the new opportunities coming our way? Well, the new opportunity is um, not necessarily coming his way. I think he's seeing it as something he could go to. That's dreamland, though. I don't feel that's concrete at all. Page of pentacles. Then we go to the six of wands. Six of wands could be the victory that he's feeling he can gain here. He is feeling very uh, foolish about a past relationship because he is naive to everything, right? Because we're in dreamland where everything's perfect and done right. We're not dealing with issues in the present. And I feel like the victory here is his victory. He may have won the battle here, but he lost the girl. He lost the partner and that hasn't hit him yet, I don't think. And it may not for a while because... He's kind of, you know, what do you call that? From the frying pan into the fire, that kind of thing. That's what he's doing. So he's not really, yeah, smoking mirrors here. <laughs> so the six on the six of wands, we had the 28, which is the waiting man. So he is going to be waiting in a direction here. So if there is a breakup officially of this couple, which I feel there's definitely a pause, if nothing else. There's definitely a timeout or some kind of an argument that is busted okay 
maybe not official moving out or you get out of the house or whatever, but we've gone to our corners and that's what's happened. Now here he's waiting. What is he waiting on? We have the page of wands come up. And the thing is, is that he's waiting for new opportunities. You know, this is, this, again, a card about admiring someone outside the relationship. Like this man, he's got flowers and everything he's intending to come forth with, but he has not yet to come forth to her. Not only that, she's a statue. So that really creates distance mentally, emotionally, and physically. So it makes me think that this Six of Cups, this person from the past is either way in the past, we haven't connected, or it's someone that just we're very disconnected from at this point. There may be a lot of uh, miles between us or just that person has no contact or no knowledge of us in that way. So that's what I'm getting. And that's the waiting is he's kind of waiting for things to get better. And he has a direction in mind, but I don't feel him hopping on there. Feel him admiring. But yet we have the nine of pentacles, which brings the ante up here into an obsessive mode. So there's somebody in his past that he had a relationship with that is very, very much someone that he has maybe kept all along in his back pocket. But he's never gone back to deal or to understand what has gone on there. So this is a very, um, man, I'm going over it. Okay, I'm scanning it and they're going, yeah, it's not even really a relationship. This man... And again, it's not going to resonate with everybody, but for the message that needs to go through. There's a Leo male here that was in a coupled relationship that busted. And we're at a turning point here, so to speak. But yet nobody's done any official, anything official. Nobody's apologized. Nobody's decided or said they're going to leave or whatever. But I'll tell you, the mind is going in places and we're really acting funny taking ourselves out of the mix. So it's inevitable that it'll happen. If we're if we're up in our head and we're dreaming about somebody else during the day, especially a past love, and we're with someone else, it's just it's gonna go downhill real quick. So that's really what's going on here is I feel like this man is in a relationship that has either had a huge um, argument, fight, struggle that came about, and now he's just toned out and he's in dreamland thinking about a past love. And obsessively, no doubt, can't get it off his mind. So that's really the situation he's at. I don't see him. He's not cheating. So if you're crossing and watching your other your partner, he's not cheating. He's just disconnecting mentally. And he's connecting with someone else mentally. Though there's no contact there. I don't feel like there's any texting, nothing. I feel like this is just someone in my past I had a connection with. I... I got along groovy with and they're not here now, but I'm disconnected. And that's what I'm thinking about was times when I had it good or whatever we had, you know, the connection, it may have been something. A lot of times people will go back to something that was short lived because they don't know in the long run how it would have went. And that might've been the situation in itself. Now that is the rundown left to right <laughs> up to down. So a bit of yeah, a weird situation because I do feel like this Leo male, if he's coupled, he's a very much an individual within that couple. He's very independent within the relationship. Okay. That's what I'm trying to <clears throat> that's what I'm trying to decipher here. He feels very independent. So anyway, overview of the energies. First card is dedication. So he is dedicated. You know, I feel like he's dedicated in a new direction. I feel like he's going to make up his mind to go forward somewhere else. It may not be this past love relationship. This is occupying his mind right now to fuel him to go in a different direction. Or it may be he may just decide to just ring this person up and start going, figuring out if, you know, are they available? How are you doing? Da, 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 whatever. Connecting. Um... I feel like that's what he's focused on and that's what he's dedicated to. I feel like the relationship's kind of cut. There's something happened here 
And I feel like he knows he was wrong in it. But in the meantime, I think he knew that it was maybe time to go. I don't know, something like that. It's very, there's not a lot of loyalty here, but yet there's cards for love. So I don't know, it's the love from the past. And we're realizing that we weren't loved till we were, whatever. I don't know. It's very jumbled. Like this man is kind of confused and going over a lot of things in one sitting. Like he's, it, it's a long term here. We're talking about the winter of 1819, but it's, it's heavy. It's weighing heavy and there's heartbreak here, but not a lot of like there's, it's heavy, but it's like, boop, we find another direction and off we go there. And we let that distract us through. So this is kind of the path that he's on, I see. So anyway, the dedication, then the altruism. So there is a certain part of him that wants to do the right thing. And that's that voice, right? Coming and saying, you know, we overdid it here. But I don't feel I'm going back in the same direction. And if he does, it'll be a while. And I feel like there might even be a relationship or so. Or attempts to do such in between that before he goes back there and and realizes a mistake like there's a knowledge that wants to come forth here i want to learn how to treat a woman right and uh just and true and respect her because he's lost respect i think is the bottom line here and he's realizing he's got to give her a chance to gain that back but just uh, it's the how do you say the you know the expression of it he can't express it he can't you know put it outward and the altruism, there's a huge part of him that wants to do the right thing, but he's just doesn't know how. Doesn't he's never had an example of this. So uh and then on the other side is chaos, and that's what ends up happening because we end up kinda I don't know if we give up as much as we kinda I don't know. I'll just leave it alone. I'll go in a different direction and choose something else. So this is you know, and like I said before in my readings, there's a lot of bust apart so over this time in the fall here we're really at the end of our rope where we should be starting to settle into new relationships so if we're still hanging on to old ones that are supposed to go this is going to be very chaotic absolutely this card is going to rule the roost so if you're coming into a lot of chaos as a leo male that is why this is supposed to go a long time ago and we kept it going so we gotta we gotta make up our mind and just go in that direction and whatever it is we need to balance, we need to figure it out and just go in that direction, you know. Uh, you don't have to leave a, a blazing trail of flames behind you. You can put that out and then still move forward. We don't have to burn our bridges. We just have to um, go forward where we need to be if we're not happy. There's a sense of depression here, and I don't know, is it a depression because we're in it? Or depression because it was busted apart or depression because we're in love with someone else and we never got over it and we were in a relationship with someone what's going on right so there's all these scenarios that are kind of sitting heavy there maybe all in one you know heavy like that could be so we end up at obsession which is not good because it's why because it's on top of the objectifying card well at least this one <laughs> Because there's another one that's a little heavier objectifying the body. And that's more of a passionate physical sex. This is more, I'm obsessed with this person. Looks wise, yes. But not all encompassing. But then we bring in the passion and it's like, yeah, I want. I want. So it just kind of doubles up and he's waiting. Waiting on some clarity forward. Something to open up that he can jump into. So that he doesn't really have to deal with it unfortunately that's the way it is so for the leo male in a coupled relationship it looks again like we're an individual so if we're coupled up we're really not giving our partner equal power is really how i feel if we are partnered there's someone under our feet and we make sure they stay there and in that case there's a situation where it's just there's something blew apart here the leo brought it to the surface and now he's kind of regretting, but at the same time, he's like, I apologize, but I don't apologize. That kind of thing, you know? So this is where he sits. So anyway, for the uh, male, Leo, coupled, 
that is sorry my phone went off. I thought I, sh I usually shut it off that is your reading for the winter of 2018 into 2019 take care over the winter season happy new year merry christmas all of that stay safe take care be kind and